Yeah, I talk a lot of chill. What else? What else? Okay, let me recollect if there's another event where I've seen him. Let me think. I have to think about it. Oh, I never saw him up the mountain again. And be just once with her, that one I described earlier. No, she told me. That's different. Oh yes, I saw him walking up. But then again, I don't really know if he was walking up. It looked like, okay, that was weird. Okay, this is what, he just walked in front without the dog. And I had a very strong sensation, but that, that doesn't matter because I didn't do anything. That he was showing me that you go up the mountain without the dog because I was afraid of dogs. And that he took another route instead of the other one, the usual, or I don't know. I suddenly thought he was talking, he was doing it for me, but not directly, so nothing. I constantly had the feeling that he was longing for me. After a certain, I mean, eventually, not from the very start. Or maybe, no. Or maybe. <sighs> I don't know what preceded what. That he needed a friend? When he came. So yes, I had I had the vision. I would not bring food for small rides, um, hikes, but for larger ones, I would sometimes bring a sandwich. I did have the vision. If I would bump into him, I would share my sandwich. That would be a nice thing. Sitting on the place and you know, share sandwich in nature. Yeah, I'm that romantic. I was heartbroken. Later, that was later after Matthias said it, not before. No, not because of him before. I was heartbroken because of other reasons. I had another vision. That was, man, that was a unique event. I never went up, I, this was just a short hike. It wasn't really a hike. I just went up to a place where the rock was. And it was because I never go that late in the day. Because it's so hard, I can handle it so hard. So I was in the shade and I felt it just longing for me. Later I was told that he had been down with his car, looking up. That makes sense, but I didn't know that. It was, it was so hurting me. So hurting me. That was around the time, well, of course, Matria already told me that he was now there. Or oh, did he not? It was tall at the end. Because for a very long time I wasn't really thinking about him that way. Like longing for me? Not that way. Maybe, but not that much. Not that fervently. I do not long for anyone. I long for a marriage. Do you understand? I long for a relationship, marriage, home, house, together, forever. Otherwise, I, I don't. It's all or nothing. All or nothing. Oh my god, no way in the whole wide world would I have accepted like a fling? I don't do that. It's disgusting. That's outrageous. Is, I need intimacy. That means I need closeness. Emotionally. Intimacy means emotionally close. Think about how much a sissy that was. How oh, great, just man, taking my field all the time. Shit. How oh, great, just. Now you want to say. All right, so that was, I must have been between April and May. That year, when Matria said that I was once sent downtown, and that I walked. No, I used, used to go. If downtown would always be this place, and then I would go over the other side every time. 
No, ever since I, I lived there. I mean, ever, ever since, for years. I did it again, but this time it felt, I don't, it, did Matria said so? Or did it felt, or what was it? Like, he was looking and seeing me? It seems more, a little bit far-fetched though. Yeah, it's a store which I would go visit uh, across in the street. Well, yes, of course, as my tree said, that he is somebody. I looked up, of course, where his office was. Yeah, absolutely, I want to know everything about it, my man. No, it wasn't mine, well. Oh no, I would never just bump into No. It's not mine until he must move, and he never did, so.